guys, uh, we are back to our server. Uh, let's log in uh, with uh, domain ID and password. Currently, we are uh, on our secondary server. Uh, you can see that uh, uh, before restarting, uh, we were just seeing administrator. Uh, now we can uh, see with server name and slash administrator. Uh, uh, in fact, we will not uh, log in with administ administrator password anymore. Click this button and other user. We will uh, use username we just created. C server. And password. You can see uh, see that uh, now it is showing that uh, sign into our our domain, right? Enter. Uh, as we instructed, uh, that user have to change the password on first login. Okay, uh, password has been changed. Uh, now we will go to our desktop. Uh, let's log in uh, the primary server as well. Here, Amir C server. We are logging with uh, C server user ID. Here is our primary server. Other user. Uh, in fact, uh, we already have uh, changed our password uh, by when we were logging our secondary server. So we do not need to change the password now. C server, the same ID and password. See, it didn't ask for uh, to change the password. Now we will go to our client machine. Here is our client machine. Switch user, other user, one to eight nine four two one. Sorry, one to eight nine four two one. We have to change the password. Active Directory is uh, changing the password for uh, client machine as well. Yes, password has been changed. Okay. Uh, so guys, uh, currently we are logged in, logged in with uh, Active Directory username and password. Uh, so we, we are good to go to initiate the process of failover clustering. In our uh, part two video, we will be uh, starting our uh, clustering installation. So we thank you for watching. We will uh, uh, doing this in uh, part two, the remaining installation and the configuration. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.